Hello friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel uh, where we are, I am sharing my the knowledge of uh, high system simulations based on my vast knowledge of process engineering. So I am this topic is about control valves sizing and how to run a dynamic simulation based on on control valve. First of all, let's discuss about how to size a control valve in, in the steady state and subsequently we will move my second video will be on the dynamics of the control valve so here you can see my screen where i have already opened one hisis file let's create a new case and for simplicity i am just adding uh, nitrogen as my as my as my pure component nothing more nothing less than that fluid package i am adding as Peng mentioned, you can see that. Okay, straight away we'll go to the simulation, and this is the stream, and this is the control valve, and I'm just trying to start building up the flow sheet. Okay, so. This composition number one I have put as a nitrogen. Let's decide more temperature. Let's keep it ambient 40 degrees C. Pressure say 10 bar. And flow rate I have just created 1000 kg per hour. Okay. Now for the parameter part, I'm just putting 0.7 bar as a pressure drop. And you can see uh, this control valve is sized. This line is, is this is complete steady state is converged. Now, since this topic is about, is about the control valve, so for the for young engineers and, and uh, new professionals who are not very much conversant with high sys steady state, this uh, video is about that. So don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And uh, if you go, let's continue this to our topic about the control wall. So as you can see that parameter, we have this defined a 0.7, which is arbitrary value actually. And this can also, uh, if you don't want to define that, you can also decide what can be the final pressure and subsequently the pressure, the, the control wall can calculate how much dp is across the line so it is just a basic video uh, more hydraulics if you want to put you can put a pipeline segment over there and also here actually to actually decide how much a pressure drop is in the line and how much pressure drop is in the in the in the control valve actually right so the parameters we have defined user value you don't have to do anything just go to rating in the rating tab you can see there uh, the new um, a new uh, sheet has opened up and you can see these are kind of you know control walls are there linear quick opening equal percentage or the user table so basically you have to have, to have a choice that you know which kind of control wall you can open actually which kind of control wall you have to decide so basically linear is for the for the level control equal percentage is for the pressure quick opening is mostly the on-off valves actually so this kind of configuration, but but if you want, you can uh, have a look at what are these kind of you know uh, characteristics are actually. Okay, so this is the 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 theory part of the control valve, which I will not go much into detail because this is subject that you have to study about. And if I start going to all of these topics, it will be a very long video, which I don't want. So you can see um, these are the 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 groups, which are the you know topics which are covered in high sys control wall sizing, and the and the sizing methods are there. C, CV CG actually CV says that allows you to select CV as the as a, as a parameter to manipulate the resistance equation in the flow calculation. CG ratio button means that allow you to select CG as a parameter to manipulate the resistance equation. In the flow calculation so mostly we go ahead with cv actually what is cv allows you to spe specify the the fluid flow rate cv value 
this cell is only active if selected CB radio button allow you to and CG is what allows you to specify the gas sizing coefficient the cell is only active if selected CG in the ratio button actually so about the XC curve checkbox is again a different kind of uh, you know it generates a different kind of curve which is says that the NSI or ISA method supports a user table instead of a constant number for the XT parameter the XT table can be used if XT changes with the valve opening the enable XT curve checkbox allows you to enter XT curve data this checkbox is only available when you select NSI or ISA sizing method so basically it talks about uh, in case you are using a specific sizing method so this uh, these parameters can be checked or activated and you can put actually right and these are the different type of, uh, of valves which is based on uh, if we are using Fisher or some other kind of, of, of you know vendor software for sizing the valves actually okay see the uh, linear buttons allow you to select linear method to calculate valve sizing quick opening allow you to select quick opening method by calculating the valve size equal percentage allow to select equal percent method to calculate valve sizing okay and this is a user table which is again uh, we are not into uh, into that one one two three that is linear quick opening and the equal percentage will be good to go basically that's fine so rating tab i will show you i will just show show we have just gone through this rating tab actually and uh, uh, type of control valve i will come in the i will cover in the lat, uh, latter uh, latter videos actually so if i go ahead and do the linear ones actually and you can see the linear uh, linear ones i have i have taken because it is a gas one so you can take equal percentage as well there's no problem in this one so as you can see the inlet pressure is here sizing conditions are there molecular weight already is for the nitrogen and valve percent is is by default is 50 percent delta p is 0.7 which i have fixed and flow rate was also fixed actually okay and and if you see this nsi isa method actually and is selected cg which is again giving you uh, a, a figures of uh, different calculated values based on uh, nsi isa method then you can go to the manufacturer specific methods which is so this was the other uh, windows that we talked actually so fisher is one of the famous win vendor uh, we order valves from them there's interlock valtec universal gas sizing also so you can see you know the parameter keeps on changing actually so uh, so the, if you say fisher or the universal gas sizing is the ideal ones actually so once you have selected that uh, tab you just click size the valve and it can gives you the value actually so in the static uh, so you can compare the CV of your valve with the CV that vendor has given you into the in your project and try to match the CV based on suppose you have already got a CV from the vendor and you want to calculate how much pressure drop it has in the control valve for different flow rates then you can select the vapor the sizing methods based on the drop downs that we have seen here and and try to try to replicate the valves uh, that vendor has provided into your simulation so this gives you good control and you can also check what is the percentage opening of the valve and subsequently what is the pressure drop so so basically you can ask it to show table and you can see you can always see that you know you can see what is the feed pressure what is the uh, what is the product pressure what is the molar flow rate you can further so this is all static actually so you can go ahead and do the dynamics one which i will show you in uh, in some other video actually this is a short video only covering the static part of valve sizing actually so uh, so uh, so the dynamic part i will come the latter ones actually but uh, you can see that uh, this static ones can be used uh, to calculate what is the pressure drop and uh, and what is the 
uh, overall uh, uh, how the behavior of this uh, valve is actually and uh, rating you can see nozzle options flow limits so you can see no choking and all this stuff are there which maybe you can use and the dynamic ones has more specs things actuator type no need to do that much on this one and then a strip chart so you can ignore that so, so, so you can see that you can see the pressure drop is uh, I have fixed as a as a as a as a as 0.7 one second I will add uh, to this table uh, I will show you uh, one second I will add a pressure drop equation as well pressure drop done so you can see that you know it is showing a 0.7 um, pressure drop over here so let's do one thing I will just delete uh, um, this to, in order to make it more uh, you know viable to the requirement 0.7 I will delete here okay and uh, I will ask it to give a pressure drop of say 8 bar so you can see 2 bar pressure drop is there for the flow rate which is around uh, 30 35.7 moles it is showing but our is is uh, is uh, you know 100 kg per hour and for this two bar pressure drop is there so let's reduce the pressure and see uh, uh, reduce the flow rate okay but uh, since it is static state it's not changing much uh, much on the on the on is assuming that you know this pressure and this pressure is constant actually so if I change a bit of of inlet pressure as well say 9.8 okay it is 0.8 here I think it didn't change so let's go ahead and do that you can see it's giving a, a pressure so so this is the type of uh, permutation combination you can do that you know for for how much pressure drop for how much pressure drop it is giving what kind of, of uh, you know uh, uh, of uh, of drop across this uh, uh, this uh, control wall in fact you can add uh, pipe segments that I told earlier I'm repeating again and you can see the line hydraulics as well that how the hydraulics is behaving and subsequently how uh, yeah, your uh, your uh, your pressures in the destination or the source is 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 varying. So one thing is that you have to try to fix the destination pressure here and vary the source pressure actually with the flow rate. So, so that will give you the exact behavior of the control wall. So in a static phase, there is a bit limitation with the control wall sizing. But if you go to dynamics, which is my which will be my next video actually, so that can give you the more realistic figure how your control valve is behaving actually so i will take uh, i will pause my video over here and then have a look and give your feedback in the comments so that i can add more videos for for learning session like this thanks a lot and have a great day thank you